It's Frosty, Heidi, and Frank on 95.5 KLOS. Frosty, Heidi, and Frank show. Who's not joining us? He joins us at a good time because comedian Gabriel Iglesias is here. Let's get him in here. Haven't seen oh, Fluffy in a while. He is. Hey. What's up, Fluffy? Hi, Fluffy. You're going to go right over there. Good morning. We're in a new place. We, you haven't been to our new place? Got, no, this is nice. Okay, our, so which, which mic is live? Our new the, pad. The, the red one, right? Okay, <laughs> so the both light, are red right now. The man. light on the red. They're both on. We're micing you, give, you, you guys up. guys yeah. me two microphones. I'm like, how fat am I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no, this place is nice. Yeah. Yeah. We're moving on up. And, and you guys are, you know, you grouped in. You grouped yeah. in. You're in the, the Burbank area. I think you guys had your own spot last time, Culver right? City. Uh-huh. Yeah, but now we're like here. We got Power 106 in the building. We got Cali over here. The K Day in the house. Oh, I new- thought I thought it was taboo to bring that bring that up, but it was, since you said it, yeah. No, they're hey, all in the family now. Yeah. We're, we got we're all one big company. happy family. That so. was always one of those things where you're you're never supposed to mention the other stations, right? Mm-hmm. You, 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 but now these are our sisters and brothers, and we can make fun of them. Exactly. Talk about a mixed bag here. <laughs> nice. Hip yeah. hop. We got the classic rock station. Yep. A little bit of everything. So when I walked in, they're like, well, who are you here to see? I'm like, well, who are you going to let me see? Throw <laughs> <laughs> really your radio Benetton at it. You're here. fluffy. Everybody wants to see you. It's it's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. It, but, used to, it used to be I could only get on like, uh, you know, I, I forget what the station was back in the day, but yeah, it, was, it, was, uh, it, was, it was it was hard. Yeah, it was, it was tough. Hard. But now look at you, man. Yeah, right? Look at you. Gonna, gonna, you're going you're gonna to sell out fleece. Staples Center and then the <laughs> Honda Center. Look at you. It was, Staples Center is on uh, December 27th, right? Yes. And then you got to Honda Center on December 28th. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess you're just working right through the Christmas holiday, huh? I work on Christmas, too. I got two shows on Christmas Day at the uh, Levity Live in Oxnard. It's a comedy club. Gabriel. Uh, yes, on I work on Christmas. On Christmas Day. Yes. Like Santa. Yeah. And you know what's funny is this Christmas shows always sell out because people want to get away from their relatives, too. <laughs> right. That's true. That's, that's number one. They want to get away from family. Also a great day to go like to the movies. It's on Christmas Day. I had a buddy that was a family tradition. They go to the movies on Christmas Day. Yeah, yeah and that, that's what actually gave me the idea to do a, a show on on Christmas Day. Was that you know you go to the movies and a lot of times they're they're packed. Right. And I'm like, okay, well, what else can we do? This is so smart because you do the Christmas morning, you do all that, you get the family stuff out of the way, and then you're like, okay, you have something to look forward to. Go see Fluffy on Christmas Day in the evening. I'm assuming. Right. I have a show at four and a show at eight. Perfect. Mix it up. And yeah. then that's all he wants for Christmas for you to buy a ticket. Just get yeah. it. And a Hang t-shirt. Out. And a yeah. t-shirt. <laughs> and, and, and a t-shirt. Maybe a fleece. <laughs> Maybe a fleece. They made me this. I thought this was nice. Are you still it's selling toasty. CDs at all? Or is that just something that just doesn't happen anymore? Now it's just go stream it on Netflix. Not live at the at the shows, but uh, on my website I still have, uh, I guess, the inventory that was left over from the big order a few years ago. <laughs> I, always, I always bought in bulk. I'm, I'm like Costco. I just go for it, right? So I have a big old warehouse and I just store all the old DVDs and CDs. So I probably got, I don't know, mm, <laughs> yeah, well, well, nobody, nobody really buys them now. It's yeah, just, it's, yeah. yeah, you can get everything. You can stream it. Just, I just, I just tell people go to Netflix or go go right, to YouTube. Right. Yeah, cars don't even have the, uh, the the CD slot in the new cars. I know. Yeah, that's actually something special you have to ask for. That's, that's an, an, an you have to, right yeah, yeah, you have to ask car. for it. Does this have a CD player? <laughs> Uh, thanks for coming in on this uh, this windy day with all the fires breaking out, man. Seriously. Yeah. No. no where do that, you live, Gabriel? I, I live where the fires don't go. Okay. I well, live in Long Beach. Oh. Yeah. Right. Well, we have our different issues over there. Yeah. Right. Of course. <laughs> Every place has something. You I born and raised in Long Beach? Fire don't touch concrete. Mm-hmm, right. <laughs> uh, I was born in San Diego. Grew up in Long Beach. Okay. And then you, I heard that you have a, a compound in Long Beach or something. Yes, I do. That you have. That sounds Him cool. and Snoop. They both have compounds and compound. Long compound. What makes real estate turn into a compound when you list it? It's like, okay, I got you own a city block. What do you own? Uh, I tell people it's a one bedroom, eighty seven car garage. Because <laughs> that's true, right? <laughs> that's pretty much the case. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, I live there, and it's uh, it's also my uh, my man cave. And uh, the eighty seven car garage. He's not lying. And the car of choice. Does everybody know your car of choice? Obviously. Uh well, uh, I have, there's classic cars in there, but like my daily driver is uh, is a Navigator. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I thought you had like uh, the you cu- Volkswagens. The Volkswagen yeah, right. bus, yes. right? Is it like your thing? Uh, yeah, Volkswagen bus. Uh, uh, pre pre nineteen sixty seven. So anything before that. What What was the the draw to that particular vehicle for you? Was it a childhood uh, thing? First first car. My first car was a was a sixty eight. It was the year after. It was the one that I could afford. It was like a I think I bought it for like four hundred bucks. Damn. Yeah. And how many VW bug buses do you own? About twenty five. Twenty five. 
Yeah. Jay Leno said, how boring. It's the same car. I'm like, because I brought him down. I thought he'd be impressed. He's yeah. like, hey, it's the same car. <laughs> <laughs> Change it up. And I'm like, no, man. You like what you like. I like what I like. Now, are you able to, you, I'm sure at this level of your career, you have people doing stuff for you to get your cars ready, but are you able to fiberglass and bondo? And, and oh, like no, 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 old... no, 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 no. I'm not no. that Mexican. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I never picked up any of those skills. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't I don't pretend they are, to be they mechanical. They come already done. They come already done. Uh, well, I, I buy them and then I, I have people. To do certain things, I have a, a, a tire guy. I have an a guy upholsterer, that does a upholstery guy, the guy that does the paint. So there's there's different people for uh, for making sure the buses look nice. And every single bus is different, or do you you uh, c- customize some it back are, to its classic state? Some I keep uh, stock. Some I I trick out a lower, or I'll put different wheels on them. Or do you have the monster bus? Colors. Giant. You lifted it. It's got monster it's, mud tires. There's, there's there's a couple buses monster that have gotten bus. modified. Nice. Yeah. And there's some that are faster than than like regular cars that I have uh, that are uh, daily drivers. Yeah. Are you afraid to take them to a parking lot though? Is all oh, that- uh, no, I do not take them to parking lots. Absolutely. You never not. leave them. No, you-, you can you can steal it with a screwdriver. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Don't ask me why I know that. But you can. You can steal it with a screwdriver. That's how he got his first one. Right. If I go somewhere in one of those cars, I usually go go somewhere where I know it's going to be a secured spot, or or like if I'm going to a restaurant, you're going to have eyes valet, on it. and I could have eyes on it and right. stuff like that. But uh, Gabriel Iglesias is hanging out with us. Uh, has his. Uh, the shows over the holidays, December 27th, 28th, it's, uh, Staples Center and Honda Center. Uh, so if you want tickets, go to fluffyguy.com. That's the only place they can get tickets, Fluffy Guy? Fluffyguy.com. Fluffy di- well, I'm Fluffy- sure they can go to scalper sites, too, but if you want to pay more, that's on you. Yeah, fluffyguy.com <laughs> for tickets. Uh, normally at this time, we uh, cross streams because there's so many streaming services. Oh, I wasn't sure what you meant. I was like, I was just in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we could have 10 minutes ago. But uh, it's where basically whatever you're streaming, uh, what you've been watching, if you, if you found something, because there's so much to choose from. Sometimes you get locked into that, just the trailers, watching trailers of every little thing, and you never land on something. But if there's something that you're watching on, on Netflix or Hulu, Amazon Prime, uh, HBO Max, uh, HBO Disney, Go. Disney Plus is mm-hmm. about ready to come out. Is there something that you're streaming that you would uh, recommend? You know what? I just saw that new Eddie Murphy movie. The uh, I think my name is Dolomite. My name is Dolomite. How yeah, was that? I saw I that, I saw that uh, yesterday. It was actually really, really good. Huge. Excuse me. What's it about? Huge fan of uh, of Eddie Murphy's and um, Dolomite was a comic back in the day, like uh, 60s, uh, 70s, and 80s. He uh, basically created this alter character and his name was Rudy Rudy Ray Moore and he had this character known as Dolomite and he would dress up and he'd go up on stage and it was this it was this show it was like he's this character and he was he would rhyme his set so he's like I'm here to mess things up and blah 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 and and, and it, everything would have a rhyme to it they they call him the uh, godfather of rap because they said he was the first one to start rhyming that way huh but he was a, a comic he was a comic mm. wow okay yeah so comedian and then it was it was uh, he was a real person that did a character but also rhymed and he uh, he toured and he made his own movies that was the big thing too. that he sounds like the Gabriel Iglesias movies. story Gabriel Iglesias Fluffy Dolomite. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I see his, the making his, own, making his own movies. <laughs> yeah. And, TV uh, shows. Congratulations on your Mr. Iglesias on Netflix that uh, premiered earlier this year. Oh, and, yeah, that's something else you can stream. <clears throat> FYI. There you <laughs> go. This fits perfectly. And now season two is currently in production. We're doing season two right now. This is a hiatus week, but I'm still working more. Because I heard, like, with uh, Netflix, it's like uh, to accept a show and give you a budget for the show is that uh, has to have so many viewers per budget or like that. So you get to get, like, season two and stuff. So you got a ton of people watching it. The problem is they don't tell you. How many they people They never tell it? you the, the numbers. There's no numbers given. They just give you clues. They're like... It's it's doing well. It's doing well. It looks it's like we well. make it a season two pickup. Yeah. yeah. And you're that, like, I, okay. I, I will tell you, I found out the number one market for my show is India. Huh? <laughs> India. Well, why, why did you Wonder. suspect that? It wasn't what I su- 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 uh, suspected. Expect? Expected or whatever. Um, that They told me. it's It was India and then uh, South Africa and then Australia. That's so bizarre. I don't know why. Are you going to do a show in India now? Like we'll go crazy. I've, I've done it. You I've have? done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I have a good following. It's a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot, a lot of people. Yeah. There's so many people. You're always getting followed over there. I mean, it's just, there's so many people everywhere. I mean, what, was, what was the size of the venue over in India? About 2,000 seats. Oh, okay. About 2,000 seats. By the way, we were talking, you, you sold out Sydney Opera House, right? Yes. 
and he was I was in Sydney and I went to the opera house went in there was a bar there restaurant I never went inside to see the actual venue he asked me how many seats how many seats there I couldn't tell you offhand um like, it, it, it's it's such a unique uh, structure where it's not like a regular uh, right. like a theater it's there's sections and it's just it's wood and it's it's beautiful but it's uh no there's, there's but you there's, sold that place out that's yes. pretty cool yes oh we're playing bigger places now that one's yeah. it's, it's good it's good it's, everything's it's going good. well okay it's going it's uh, going very fluffy well. uh, com for tickets to the staples center show on december 27th and the honda center on uh, saturday december 28th do they also go to fluffy guy to get tickets for this uh, oxnard show at levity live and yes things like that everywhere just all the tickets i send everybody right to fluffyguy.com it's probably the easiest thing to do uh I mentioned your show on netflix since this is the crossing stream segment of the show eric always writes a theme song for this segment of the show we, oh. we don't know what it is uh, eric do you want to play the theme for Crossing Streams? Sure. Uh, this one is number three right now, rockhall.com. I'm going to do all Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nominees until the ceremony. Okay. I've decided. So number three currently in the fan voting is Soundgarden. Jamming. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Fluffy was the air drumming. It was very good. Uh, so Dude, can I just say your mustache game is strong, bro? Oh, is it? Every well, guy loves it. Every girl hates strong. it. <laughs> I've been working on it two months now. Two, two months. months. I got I got my buddy Alfred Robles who's on the show with me, and he recently uh killed the beard and he just left a mustache. And so he's been he's been rocking it now for, for I wanna say a week week and a half now. And uh, I still haven't found out what his girl thinks about it. I was like, hey, she hates she, it. What does she think? And he's like, oh, she hasn't seen it yet. I'm like, all right. No, she hates it. I don't know him, her. She hates it. Every girl hates that. And every guy's like, bro. Bro. I love it. Now, you have the goatee. You ever consider just going stash? You know what? Uh, it, it doesn't look right on me. My, my face needs the dividing. That's why I like the goatee. Because <laughs> it, it, it breaks up my face into sections. <laughs> this cheek, that cheek, and then whatever's happening in the middle. Uh, if, if anything, I should shave the whole thing off and then I got a big baby face but I, I got big cheeks so then it kind of is like all right so you know and then now I don't have hair on my head so I, I need I need some, fa some little, facial little hair. Something, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's like yeah. If you shave your head, you got to have some kind of facial hair. Something, some, some. You got to break it up. My my, yeah. my brows also too. I got these old school Frida Kahlo eyebrows. You they, do. They, they connect. If <laughs> you I got some if strong I don't brow them, game, dude. Yeah, no, I need. I, yeah, I gotta segregate these brows. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta break them up because otherwise it's a caterpillar in the middle. I uh, saw this about Netflix as well. Netflix is testing uh, variable variable playback speeds. I heard about that. What do what you think about mean? it? I mean, obviously, they, you can speed it up. Like you don't want to spend all the time. You can still get the gist. You can speed it up and watch it faster and get done in half the time. Oh. Right. So basically, it's like uh, let's say you're watching me. It would go from me talking like this. All of a sudden, next thing you know, we're going to be right here, and then we're going to go outside. And gonna... So you can actually watch a show like that, and it's it's cool if you're stoned. Yeah. <laughs> you're stoned. It actually comes out at the same. Or speed. you just slow it down. You're like, let me tell you. You got all the time in the world. You're trying to like you know fill yeah, you your speed day. It up. You sound like a munchkin, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's like I don't need a modern day VCR because that's what you used to be able to do back in the day. You'd mess with the, the there's a little uh, the speed the the tempo whatever. It's yeah. Called. And, and you could change it. So do you want after. Fluffy or Flumpkin? <laughs> right? <laughs> Flumpkin's the sped up version. <laughs> Even though that sounds like something out of the Urban Dictionary. That sounds it's like, filthy. I did a Flumpkin mm -hmm. last night. I guess if you're going to watch something that's informational, maybe that might be okay. If you're just getting, if you just need to get, like, I need the info. Yeah. But if you're going to watch something that requires timing, if there's comedy, if there's drama, you need that tension. You need that, uh, that certain speed right. for you to feel it. And I just, I just think that they're playing around. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, yeah, it says that you can slow the playback speed by uh, 0.5 or 0.75 or speed it up by 1.25. When you do that, you just times. sound, people just sound drunk. I've heard yeah. uh, people do that with our show before. I mean, usually we're drunk in regular time. <laughs> but you slow everything down, and when I'm trying to explain something to you, <laughs> you just sound wasted. It's kind of a fun way to listen to a show. Uh, who, watch a show. who was playing that uh, clips of uh, Donald Trump slowed down where he sounds drunk? <laughs> I think it might have been Jimmy Kimmel or, or something. Or Randy Rainbow. I don't know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, these... Netflix sounding like TikTok right now. <laughs> <laughs> Gabriel Iglesias uh, hanging out with us. Got his uh, Beyond the Fluffy World Tour, Go Big or Go Home. Staples Center on Friday, December 27th. Honda Center on Saturday, December 28th. And for tickets, all you have to do is go to uh, fluffyguy.com. Uh, uh, what else has been new in your life since we saw you last? Let's see. New in my life. Ah. <sighs> Uh, see the traveling, the traveling, and the traveling. Doing the TV show right now until February. Then we're gonna go hit the road. You're just uh, the, working. The, the working. You're not even uh, home at the compound with the cars. No, I'm here. <laughs> my pu- my puppies are over there. Damn. I-, I would take my dogs everywhere. By the way, if I if I could. Uh, but yeah, just uh, uh, we're getting ready to tape an, a new Netflix show. Uh, it's gonna be an animated series. It's about as much as they'll let me say. Oh. Uh, yeah, you know, and Netflix has has me on lock. They do, but they take good care of me. <laughs> You're a Look at that man. face. They, do. they take really good care of me. Yeah. 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 They might, yeah, the, they might not give me numbers as far as uh, you know the stats, but but the numbers that, that they do give me are are very good all ones. Good, yeah, yeah. Good. The uh, the company that we work for now uh, owns uh, the Sahara in Las Vegas, Vegas. and uh, they purchased the Magic Mike show like that that you can go and watch in Vegas. Uh, would there be ever a chance that the company could uh, get you to show up as uh, a special cameo from Tobias? Let, let me tell you, uh, <laughs> when when I was doing the, the movie with uh, with Channing and then you know uh, McConaughey, I remember telling him, I says, "Hey, dude, let me tell you something." I says, "Everybody that you saw in the movie Magic Mike that was in the audience, nobody they didn't hire." extras these were people that like those were real genuine people there was no like okay and on action you're gonna go crazy when he takes off his shirt there was no there, nobody <laughs> needed to be prepped or trained and oh i didn't a, know that applause here or cheer there no that was genuine response and so when they would go out there they're just like oh my god this is the greatest thing ever and so one lady was telling me she goes i could be an extra forever i do this for free <laughs> you know but we're getting paid she goes we're getting paid to see this and so I told uh, I told Channing. I says, "Hey man, I says, you know, as a comic, I go on tour, and I says I make a killing in personal appearances. I go, if you were to ever do a show like this, a traveling show, you guys could fill, you know, not just theaters, but I mean like big sub- substantial places and make serious money." And I had him talk to one of my uh, concert promoters, and so I think it was really cool that now he has this show. And yeah, of course. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, oh, I, mean, I would make an appearance. <clears throat> Absolutely, that'd nice. be great. Right? I'd make an appearance. Oh, well, there's the people you can talk to. After the, <laughs> the walk the hallways. Yeah, get, you, get, get a you, deal done. <laughs> get another deal done in here. Uh, anything, uh, the, the cartoon series, you can't talk about that at all? Uh, I don't have enough info on it. But, but are you executive producing it? No, 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 no. They, uh, oh. they, they, You're voicing they, it. They, they called me up. We need a Mexican. Gotcha. I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there. I'm there. Give us an accent. Of, of all the voiceover roles that you had, which one uh, stands out for like the most enjoyable? The, uh, seriously, uh, Coco. Oh, yeah. Coco. Uh, I thought that Disney and Pixar did a really great job in putting that together and it was very, you know, uh, to get a culture down, to really understand and, and get it to where it's like, it, it's the number one film ever in Mexico. Oh, wow. Ever. Really? Yeah. Huh. Ever. They they hit it. I mean, it was a home run. And, and to give me that part, that was, that was so cool because long after I'm gone, that voice will still be there. And uh, the opposite side, the voiceover cartoon job that you did that you were like, oh god, that sucked. <laughs> I, I've had a couple of those. <laughs> uh, there, there's, uh, there's, I, I, the, here's the thing with voiceovers that I, I say yes to everything. Yeah. Because I always feel like, you know what? It just because you might not think that it's a good part, you never know what might come from that. There, there's always opportunities created from little seeds. Right. And so I said no to a part years ago, and I regret it to this day because it was a blockbuster. But at the time, it was just a, a kernel. You know, it was just a little crumb. Um, I went in, I got the co-starring role, landed it. Uh, they offered me 700 bucks. The movie had no real budget, clearly, but they said if it, if it killed it in the box office, I'd get a big percentage at the, on the back end. Nice. My manager tells me, listen, this movie's not gonna do anything. It's stupid. <laughs> Who would ever even think of this idea? 
go on the road, you'll make serious money. You're, you're better off. And so I, I ditched the film project, went on the road, did my thing. The movie that I passed on was Happy Feet. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> yes, I passed. I was not freaking happy. <laughs> Do you have the I same passed. manager? That was no. the last. Okay. No. <laughs> Bye-bye. No, no, I don't. <laughs> But since He's on the then, road now. Yeah, but since then, I says, you know what? If there's ever, uh, if I get offered another role, I'm just going to say yes and do it. And some of the roles have been awesome. Some of them have just been like, okay, whatever. But maybe you met some cool people. and. But there's you know. always been opportunities created from those. You never know. You, you say, ah, whatever. It's a waste of time. It's not a waste of time. If if you if someone sees you do a good job and they know what you're like to work with, that, that could always open they the think door of down you the line. next time, yeah. Yeah. Fluffy with us as far as uh, like you being an executive producer, you know, a comedian, actor, voiceover. Is there uh, a car enthusiast? Is there something? <laughs> is there something else that uh, is like a hobby or uh, something else you'd like to get into? Or like you know maybe someday after all this is out of my system, I'll I'll become a chef. With with all the things that are going on, I, I can honestly say that I've I, everything I've set my goal to up to this point I've met. Uh, other things that are popping up, it's just opportunities. It's like awesome. Uh, honestly, the thing that I would love to do more than anything is to lose weight. Mm. I would love to lose weight. Do you think? You I mean, did don't lose take weight. this wrong. No, I mean, no, yeah, I did, and then I found it. <laughs> but yeah. do you think it would have hurt your career? No, not at this point. Not, not at this I'm, point, I'm funnier yeah. than what I look like. I, I know for a fact, and I think people want to see me around. They don't want me to be, you know, like, oh, he was, he died so young, right? Oh, he's doing so good. He was at the peak of his career. I made way too much money to leave it to my son, who hasn't worked yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how old's your son? He's twenty one. Twenty one years he's old. Twenty one. Right. And life is so good for him right now. I'm like, dude, you don't even know. Do you let him drive it. any of your cars? Uh, he doesn't drive stick. He, he I, I tried to give him a Volkswagen Bug, a really nice pimped out one, but he didn't want to learn to drive. You know. Stick. Oh. He's like, oh, maybe think. it's because it's LA and you're just stop and go traffic but all the time. But still. I don't know. Yeah, right? It's a free, free car. <laughs> He's like, no, no, no. I'm good. Thanks, Dad. No, no. No, no. That's not what he sounds like, but I'm just. That's, <laughs> that's what I heard in my head. No, no. Father, this no. Father. Father. Is, is he going to follow in the entertainment footsteps Ew. or does he have his own uh, whatever dreams? He actually works. Uh, <laughs> he, he's got his dreams, uh, but, you know, right now they're just dreams. Uh, DJing. He likes DJing and, and he works stage crew. So, he, like, he works at uh, the Performing Arts Center in Long Beach. So he works behind the scenes, okay. which is cool because yeah. next year the plan is to take him on the road with me. That's perfect. Mm, yeah, yeah, put him to work. Put Get him, him to some work. experience. But yeah. the, the catch is, and he knows already, he goes, uh, I told him, you don't ride with me on my bus. You ride on crew bus. You don't report to me. You report to someone else. Nice. If you mess up, you can get fired. That seems That's how good dad it. right That's here. That's right. Yeah. Gabriel Iglesias. Because the team knows. They're like, no, don't, no taking it easy don't on him. Don't treat him special. He's, he's, uh, yeah. And taking him on the on the road to see the world. You never know. He might meet a nice Indian girl. <laughs> you know what? I'd be happy if he met someone. Because right now, it's like, I don't want to put his business out there. But uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll go ahead. He's, he's nice. Yeah. He's young. <laughs> He's Frank young. has a 22 year old daughter. 22 year old daughter. And a, uh, oh, 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 oh. oh. Hey, can, I saw that nod wait already. A second. I was going to say, she can drive a stick. That sounds so oh, bad. So I, just, <laughs> I was like, no, I better not say that about her. I, I want to put her business out there. <laughs> But, uh, Gabriel, thank you so much for coming in. It's always good to see you, and congratulations on all your successes. Thank you. Uh, be sure and check out his special. It's on uh, Netflix right now, uh, One Show Fits All. It's currently available on Netflix. Also, his uh, Mystery Iglesias. Season one's already in the bank. It premiered earlier. Season two is in production. But you got to go see him live, fluffyguy.com for tickets. Staples Center on Friday, December 27th, and the Honda Center on Saturday, December 28th. And two shows on Christmas Day. And two shows on Christmas. Yes, at uh, Levity Live in Oxnard. Thank you, man. Thanks, you guys. Always good to see your Tell face. Tell Martine we said hi. Definitely. <laughs> All right, right now we uh, got to take a quick break, but we're here till uh, 10 o'clock. So keep it here. We're Frosty out of your